Since now we're seeing Kawangware as the procession uh, seems to make its way out of Kawangware, possibly into the CBD. But what does the CBD look like? Well, Yvonne, this is the second Monday in as many, uh, in two weeks, that the CBD on a Monday doesn't look like its usual self. Uh, it looks more of a Sunday afternoon than what would have been a normal busy uh, business day here in the CBD. Uh, from as early as 7 a.m. in the morning, activity here has been very limited, especially in the upper parts of the CBD where we are in Wabera Street, Kenyatta Avenue, Standard Street. Many of the businesses, many of the offices, not opening for business today and those that had opened a little bit earlier in the afternoon hours have decided uh, to close shop as there is literally very little business activity uh, taking place here. Many people staying away uh, on account of the demonstrations that have been called by the opposition. This being the second one, the third one will be happening on Thursday, uh, but the opposition had asked uh, the city residents to stay away uh, today as this uh, the, the CBD will be the any of those demonstrations, like you mentioned earlier, making their way from Kawangware. We don't know whether they intend to terminate here in the CBD because unlike last Monday when the protesters and demonstrators had been given a starting point for the protest, which was uh, right behind me at the KICC, this time round there hasn't been um, that kind of communication. So there haven't been a lot of people coming into the CBD, the protesters particularly. Uh, to kick off those demonstrations. Last week we did see pockets of people making their way into the CBD from as early as 8 a.m. Uh, by around 10, 11, uh, 11 a.m. we had seen uh, the, the demonstrators uh, beginning uh, their action and the response from the police, that is the use of tear gas and water cannons to disperse them. Today a different scenario. Uh, there has been quite an increase in the number of uh, security personnel that have been posted at various installations within the CBD, the KICC uh, we've seen police officers cordoning it off. Uh, the office of the president and his deputy also a significant number of security personnel there. Uh, the police uh, headquarters, vigilance house, also getting its fair share of security personnel. Just uh, most significant installations in this city have had security uh, increase. The Jivanji Gardens, which normally plays host to the Mwanainchi uh, uh, Parliament or Bunge, also today cordoned off. No one being allowed to get in there. So that is the situation here. Uh, in the CBD, uh, Yvonne. Uh, if my cameraman could just perhaps try and give us a clearer picture of what exactly we are talking about here, you can clearly see uh, that this is about 3 o'clock on a Monday uh, afternoon, but there is very limited activity taking place. Most of the eateries here have not opened. Their places that have opened are uh, operating at a very limited, reduced capacity. Plenty of parking, Yvonne, on a Monday afternoon in Nairobi, which is uh, totally unusual. So it just gives you an indication of how the CBD is looking here today. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're not sure whether that motorcade uh, making its way from Kawangware will terminate here in the CBD. Uh, but what we do know is that most of the entry points into the CBD have been uh, cordoned off, have been blocked. Uh, security personnel having um, erected barriers of put in place uh, a number of security officers who are just making sure that uh, there is a no unusual movement into the city of large numbers of people. But we are still waiting to see uh, as we keep a keen eye on, on, on that motorcade making its way. Uh, we'll be able to tell whether it will make uh, its uh, way here into the CBD or not. But as of this moment, uh, the situation here is calm and usually so. Yvonne? Thank you, Brenda Wanga, live from the CBD. Stephen, it's unusually calm, as Brenda says. It's akin to a Saturday 